So basically, in the next 30 minutes, I'm going to just cover uh, ultrasound of the hand and wrist, and that largely uh, implies we're going to be talking a lot about lumps and bumps. So there are several different uh, types of soft tissue lesions. I use the word lesions because not all of these are tumors. But when patients present with something around their hand, their wrist, sometimes even on their forearm, you know, ultrasound is a really good modality to sort this out. We did a study a long time ago and looked at what experienced hand surgeons diagnosed a lump and bump as, just simply solid versus cystic versus what ultrasound could do. And they were wrong 50% of the time. So you could have flipped a coin to make a decision. So ultrasound really does play an important role. And what I'm also going to try to uh, impart is that as we go through and talk about all these different lesions, there are some clinical clues and physical examination clues that can really help you hone in on what it is if you think it's solid and perhaps the type of solid lesion that it is. So there's several different kinds of lesions. We're not going to have time to talk about all of them, but as you can see from this list, uh, this includes both solid and cystic lesions. The most common hand lesion that you're going to run into is a ganglion, and these are mucin-filled fibrous line cysts. They don't quite know what the etiology is, but it's often been purported that there's stress on a joint capsule um, or ligament that stimulates mucus production and leads to the formation of a ganglion. And these can arise all over the body. They can arise from tendon sheaths, ligaments, joints, or even bones. I recently saw a patient who had uh, surgically proven ganglions on her tibia.